We got another mail time, y'all. This one's a good one. All right, we got the safety knife this time, you know? Won't cut myself. There you go, TikTok. All right, first time we're opening here. Um, I think this is the interface. It is. So this is an XLR. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Here. Getting ahead of myself. So if you know what this is, guys, this is the interface um, that I can plug my new mic into, you know? Mm -hmm. Get this box opened up here. Oh, yes. This is going to be about a three-minute video this time because I'm tired of doing little short ones and clipping out too many things, you know? Well, this this boy a tank. Look at this, Look at this pro audio, bro. That's, that's a thick boy. Came with a little cable. It looks like it's a USB-C on one side and USB-A. I think that's what you call this, but it's just a normal USB. Doesn't even look like it has to be 3.0. Now this one here is the Solo, which means that it's basically just for one camera or one camera, excuse me, one microphone. If you do mi multiple microphones, they have more that are like bigger and you can have more connections into you. See, there's only one XLR output. Okay, next on the, dude, we're just going through all the little, little stuff right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, this here, I believe is simple and it's from Amazon basics because we out here trying to save money. This is just the XLR cable. Look at look how thick these cables are compared to what you got on your other microphone. All right. Well, that's good. Yes. We finally got a sure mic. Now, if you know me, don't know me personally, one of my goals as a streamer long-term was to always get a sure mic, but they're so expensive. I didn't get the most expensive one, guys. This is the podcast version. Um, there is a more expensive one that eventually I'll get, but right now I'm super excited just to have a sure mic because their mics, in my opinion, are probably one of the best on the market. Now, there's tons of companies now, like Beacon, where I use my mixer from. They also have a very good competitive mic. Let's get this boy out. Let's get this boy out so we can nice protective... Dang, turbo. All right, got a nice protective little uh, case here. Looks like it has a little side opening, so we'll get that opened here. Boom. All right, so right on top, it looks like you have sure. Okay. Oh, it's just literally a foam panel to protect it, I guess. There it is. Now, this is their podcast one, which I believe is their smaller one. It's still a pretty big mic, not going to lie. And that's pretty much it in here. Now, you do have, like, um, instructions and stuff. I think that's down the side here. Let's see if I can get them out. Okay, got them out. It looks like this is probably just, like, warranty. Yeah, limited warranty information. So, I'll forget that. But make sure you actually register your mic for your warranty stuff, because I've already gotten caught doing that a few times, and it sucks when you don't have a warranty for something. You guys probably thought that was it. Oh, he got a new mic. Psych! I got... The Elgato pedal as well. As you guys know, if you watch my stream, I'm always trying to like mute my mic so people don't hear me and then so I can talk to you guys. Now I got a pedal. For you that don't know what a pedal is, basically, um, I think there's three buttons on this one where I can click with my feet to uh, mute my mic or clip that or I can make, basically, it's like a stream deck for your feet. So it looks like Elgato actually has some pretty slick packaging. Kind of cool. I like that a lot. And then you can open it up and you instantly right here, you have Elgato and then pretty much just a giant square block, guys. I mean, for a big company, for them to put a little sticker on here and not just lay it in there, that's pretty nice. Let's open this all the way up. Wow. Really nice, like, canvas bag. And here it is, guys. So one, two, and three is in the middle. And this is going to make it so much easier for me. Now, there's a lot of cheaper... Um, uh, ways you could you can do this. You can get foot pedals on Amazon for way cheaper than this. This is about eighty nine dollars. But um, I got Elgato just because the ease of their their whole interface. I'm already using it with the Stream Deck, so why not? So here's an interesting thing. It came with a bunch of extra little parts like a spring set and uh, little uh, middle pedal stoppers. I like that because sometimes it's uh, when you're on carpet or hardwood um, it can slide around a lot luckily i'm on carpet so it shouldn't um, it also comes with the instructions and a very long usb c to usb we're just gonna call it a normal usb because i'm pretty sure it's called usb a but i don't know i can't remember 
Um, this is pretty much as simple as plug and play and then you just download the interface on your computer and pretty much just set it up just like any other stream deck would. All right, guys, I'm going to get to installing all this stuff. Um, I'll do a little behind the scenes of installing or if I have anything crazy I figured out. But thanks for watching this mail time and I'll catch you guys all next time.